we're continuing building this game inside of Unity, this low poly game. And uh, I posted a video yesterday where we gathered these assets and put them together to create this scene. And uh, the feedback was actually quite amazing. Uh, a lot of you actually commented and gave your ideas. And I really thank you for that. So we're going to continue building our game. Uh, and the very first thing that I would like to add to this game is some jumping mechanics because it does not have jumping mechanics we can just walk in air so one of the drawbacks of getting a asset from the asset store and then trying to build from there is the code itself so the code is actually very nicely written but since i've just gotten it from the asset store i don't know how it actually works so we're gonna try to figure out that together here in this video and first we're going to open up this movement script and we're going to try to add in some force into the rigid body since it uses a rigid body component. Okay, so in order to add in jumping, what we're going to have to do is to tell this rigid body to go into the up vector. So to do that, we're going to have to reference the rigid body. And if we look into the movement script, we should find a rigid body component. And here it is. Here is our rigid body. And if we look a little bit more, we should see a start function uh, getting the rigid body. And there it is. Here is where we reference the rigid body. And if we don't have this, this line of code right here, if we didn't have this, we would have gotten a console full of errors telling us we don't have that reference. So that's why we use rigid body get component. And uh, the way this works is basically you do get component get component when the script is attached to the same game object as the component that you're trying to access. So for example, this this rigid body right here is in the same game object as this script so we can just do get component rigid body so what we would like to do right now is tell the rigid body to add some force so the way we would do that is by saying rigid body dot add force and in here it takes in the force and the force mode this force mode can be left blank and if we just pass in a vector 3.0 for now this should work yeah, yeah it works so obviously we don't want to add that in here we want to do some check and see if we're pressing the key space. So here is our move character and we should have a method called update or fixed update. And here is the fixed update and we also have the update. So since we're building a FPS game, we want to check each frame if we're pressing a button or not. So in here, let's do another method and let's call it jump let's just call it jump for now down here let's create that method we can just call it void jump with empty parameters and there we go now we have a method so inside the jump we want to use some input so we're gonna say a very simple if statement in here and we're gonna call if input dot get key down key code dot space so after we do that, we want to add some velocity to our rigid body. And we're going to do the same thing that we did just earlier. We're going to say rigid body dot velocity. So add velocity in here cannot be used as a method. We're going to have to define a new vector and work from there. So we could define a new vector in here and say transform dot position dot x, then transform dot position dot y and z. Or we could work a little bit smarter and we can say transform dot up times a value in here. Let's say 10 for now. So this should work. And uh, I highly recommend not leaving 10 in here. Instead, go up here and create a float variable somewhere in here. So we have a header in here called speed. And let's create a public float. Actually, this is realizable. So we can just call it as a private so private float jump force and let's default it to 10 let's go back where we jump and let's replace the 10 with jump force 
So if we save this, go back into Unity, we should see a new slot in here. And there we go. We have a jump force of 10. All we have to do now is go ahead and try this out. Okay, if we try to jump right now, nothing is quite happening. I tried to increase the jump force to a very big number and it still doesn't work. Okay, after a very long time trying to debug this error, uh, I figured it out. And the problem is this velocity, uh, the problem is in the script. I'll show you in a minute. So if we play the game, we're going to see that this cube is falling normally, but the player refuses to fall normally. So as we can see, the cube is just normal, but the actual player is not very normal. So the problem is that we are continuously adding velocity to the rigid body the problem is that we're adding velocity to the y-axis as well so the way i found on fixing that is by just completely not using this velocity so if we comment that out we're gonna see that it actually works so we can obviously no longer walk because i just completely removed that line of code but if we try to jump we're gonna see we can just jump in normally which is nice which is a good sign actually so now i'll try to figure out how we can add a velocity without adding it to the y-axis i'm beginning to think that this velocity should not be used at all so let's try using the good old add force. So rigidbody dot add force transform dot right times movement dot x and let's copy that code transform dot forward movement dot z. I think so. Let's try this. Okay, this is working. Obviously, we can't see it in here, but if we pay attention to the position. We're kind of moving very, very slowly, but we're moving. So let's add in another float in here. Let's first add in some brackets and let's do this times movement. Let's go back into the top and where we have speed. Actually, we already have a walking speed. So let's copy that. Let's paste this down here and let's see if it works. Okay, let's try to walk now. And we can see it is actually working. We can still jump normally and it falls back normally. And we can actually move now. Which is great. So uh, this is all for today. I'm already very pissed off. Because I decided to do this technique of importing some assets from the asset store. And then having to deal with all the issues. So thank you for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll, we'll try to add in some very simple UI that we can actually kill. And then we will continue building our game from there. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.